Sabotage, spying. And supporting Ukraine's conventional troops in their fight. Wherever Russia invades, a covert network of Ukrainian civilians is watching and making their presence behind Russian lines known. This the symbol of a growing resistance movement. There's even evidence of Ukrainian resistance inside Russia. This clip shared with Sky News purportedly shows an attack on a transmitter in the border region of Voronezh. Now, for the first time, the commander of Ukraine's resistance has agreed to speak on camera about this top-secret dimension of the war. A special forces colonel, we're calling him Mikola. Among us are those people who calmly, quietly, covertly perform their tasks without expecting a quick reward or glory. The main motivation of our people, all of us, is freedom. We want to defend our country. The Russians will have to either kill us all or leave. Is it the whole of society? Is it young, old, women, men, disabled, healthy? Can you just describe who are the resistance? The representatives of the resistance movement, in fact, are all conscious Ukrainians now, and there are men and women of different ages among them. I can't tell you a specific number because this information is secret, but I can tell you that there are thousands of these people. What kind of operations are they doing? We get information about Russia's occupying forces. We also try to cut the enemy's communications. We block their logistics so that units on the front line are hungry or have limited ammunition. We try to kill Russian military personnel at all costs and destroy their military equipment. Run by Ukraine's special forces, the resistance movement is raising its profile. A new video on social media aims to promote their work and attract more recruits. The group is active inside Crimea and occupied parts of southern and eastern Ukraine. As a precaution, it's also expanding into areas that may yet fall into Russian hands. The commander says anyone is welcome to join. They just need to be loyal and brave. Of course, the work that our people are doing is dangerous. Many of our people have died during their work, and many of them end up in Russian prisons. But this does not scare us, because our goal justifies the losses we are now suffering. He says Russian civilians who oppose Vladimir Putin have also started to get in touch. And so have they started doing acts of sabotage inside Russia as part of the resistance? It is a part of the resistance, but their actions against Putin's regime are separate from our movement, which is organised from within our country. They are already learning from us, and they are already starting to use our methods within the Russian Federation. We see great potential in those things. Back inside Ukraine, the focus of the resistance against Russia's invasion is clear. But the full scale of the actions by those involved will likely stay secret until long after the war ends. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Kyiv.